sweaty cup, sweaty cup, sweaty cup. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to guess what I'm trying to say. Did you get it? Did you? Nah. Hi guys, welcome to another video of me trying on national dishes around the world without leaving my city. So today we are going to Thailand. Yes, that's right. So we are going to a Thailand restaurant for today. I'm currently in Ottawa, so I am not doing a video in Toronto, but I will be shuffling between both cities. So sometimes my video will be in Toronto, sometimes my video will be in Ottawa. So without further ado, let me just, I don't really have a lot to say when it comes to Thai people. I haven't been in class with them. I haven't worked with them, so I have no idea. But I'm trying to push my mind towards the positive side that it's going to be a great experience, which is what I want. So without further ado, let us go to a Thailand restaurant. All right, guys. So this is a Thai food uh, truck I end up coming to. It's on Abion Road. Uh, so you don't really have the opportunity to have a dining experience because it's a food truck like I said So you have to like get the food and take it home or just like dine outside Which is what I actually did because at that point I'm like yeah, let me just have it here So this is called a uh, Pad Thai and it was uh, $18.50 I actually love the fact that there was a crushed peanut on it So this is something not good for anybody that has like allergies to like peanuts So I won't recommend you trying this or you can always opt for them to take out the peanuts from it so let's get to know a little bit wow. more about thailand so there are more than thirty-five thousand shrines and temples in thailand which is kind of like because uh 90 i think 90 percent of the population are actually buddhist so 10 percent is actually other religion which is really like a very small amount when I was uh, trying to learn about Thailand and interesting fact, I was surprised. Like it says, it's illegal to drive shirtless in Thailand. Like wow, and the other one was like, it's illegal to leave your house without your underwear on. I'm like, so are you telling me there is a police officer that says, everybody stop? Let me look at your panties. Are you having your panties on? Are you having underwears? I'm like, it was actually so funny, but I'm pretty sure there was a reason why they made that law like illegal for them maybe somebody has done something really bad they're like oh we're not gonna be having this anymore thailand also uh holds the name for the longest capital in the world i will insert the name of that stuff on the screen trust me guys it's a long name and it's also the only southeast asia country to not be colonized by the europe which is like which gives them power so that's why thailand translates to land of the free so they're kind of like the only free country also thailand's are the largest export of rice in the world so that's why a lot of like this southeast asia they really love rice and like noodles so these are like kind of your stuff uh the capital is called bangkok i'm pretty sure everybody knows about that and uh thailand itself it's actually the size of france i don't know what like i don't know france ex much but for it to be the same size, I guess France is very small compared to like other countries like American or anything like that. Anyways, I enjoy the food and I hope you guys enjoy. Hi guys, so I'm back from the Thailand restaurants I went to. The first one I actually wanted to go because that one has a dining experience. Like you're able to sit inside. But that one, all of a sudden, it was closed. I was like, and it, online it was saying that it was open. I was kind of like, wow. Kind of gave me like, okay. Then the second one that I checked online, I keep checking if I can find some closer to me. Most of them are like closed on Tuesdays. They're only open like Wednesdays to like, I think Sundays. I'm like, oh my God. Anyways, then I found the last one, which I went to, but that one was like, uh, what's it called? It's a food truck. So there wasn't a lot of space for someone to see in that sense. But the food was very good. You guys can see, I didn't even finish it because the sun was so much. Oh my God. The peanuts, I love it. The sun was too much, it was like getting into me and I was already feeling full. I was like, yeah, I'm done. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I don't really have much to say because I wish I had the opportunity to, to have a dining experience. I feel like that way I'll be able to give more details about like the experience and everything like that. But because it was a food truck, there wasn't much to say. So anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching today's video and in Thailand to say thank you. I'm gonna say So thank you. I will see you in the next video